long time no see winged ones. So I'm going to start this video off uh, already done my face and I've already done my eyebrows. And I'm just going to do a really simple uh, green look for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I start by priming my lid and then putting NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in milk all over quite honestly all over and blending the crud out of it because I'm really just going to make a crazy golden green smoky eye today. And when that's done I'm going to go ahead and pull out my full spectrum palette and use <laughs> that fantastic green hatter and I'm just blending this up from the crease. I'm going to try to keep it as above the crease as possible uh, to keep my lid a nice light pocket for the moment. After that color has been placed and blended out, I'm going to go ahead and take Neem to try and blend the edges and bring the green back to the yellow side of the spectrum. Uh, and after that's all been done, I'm going to go ahead and take Bump just to try and re-brighten up those highlight areas. Here I go ahead and take 100 and I'm going to put that into the crease and then blend it out. Uh, I'm actually using combinations of both Hatter and 100 to get a proper blend here. And then finally what I do is I put the 100 under my lower lash line to give it a natural shadow. And then winged ones, I'm going to dance like a moron because I have the new Too Faced palette and life is a festival. I take fun in the sun and I'm going to put that onto that highlight point on my lids that we've been saving. I also go ahead and take Firefly to just add a little more green shimmer to the lid. And then I go back to fun in the sun and I shimmer the shiitake out of my eyes. It doesn't show up great on here, but yeah, I'm I, I'm going a little glitter crazy here. Shocking, right? What is that? Enough glitter, you say? No, you're wrong. There's never enough glitter. I'm gonna put some more on my eyelids, because that's my life. And here you see my horrible, horrible attempt at doing eyeliner. <laughs> I managed to make it at least look a little acceptable now, but this is still my least favorite part of the process just because I am always so nervous I'm going to mess it up. Once your liner is dry, go ahead and use your medieval torture device to curl your lashes. <laughs> I don't remember where I heard that. I heard somebody call it that and I just like, I found it so fitting. I've called it that since. <laughs> and oh, oh geez, my OCD is going to kick in right about now. Yep, there it is. I'm going to, I'm going to overdo it. I'm going to overdo it because I can't just leave them alone. Leave it alone, birdie. Leave it alone. No keeps going. Yep. Now that I've moved on from my liner, I'm gonna go ahead to this Ulta highlighter palette, uh, which by the way is fantastic, and I take the yellowy greenish shimmer on the side and I go ahead and put that on all the highlights of my face. Does anyone else go a little highlighter crazy? Because I do. And then of course I go back to my lashes and add gold glitter because there's still not enough glitter. And for my cheeks, I actually don't add too much color. I believe the name of it is seashell. Uh, just enough to give it a little bit of a pink. And then I go back with like a light brownish burgundy and uh, go ahead and contour my face. Um, and then finally my lips. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you can't see it, which is fantastic, but the corners of my lips were ridiculously chapped and disgusting. So all I did was put on some glitter lip topper. And, you know, 
leprechauns, they, they work with a lot of gold, so I imagine there's quite a bit of shimmer on them everywhere. Glitter. <laughs> And there you have it, winged ones, an easy St. Patty's Day look. I hope you all enjoyed. You can see the show in the background most of the time. <laughs>